To start, you can either take a picture or open one up from your library. After you choose your background picture, you'll have the option to use the Crop Tool. It has several different functions such as rotating and changing the aspect ratio. The Start Over button will revert the image back to its original state. Please note, you can also use the Crop Tool after you complete your design. Once you're satisfied, press the Done button. The Add Cover tool allows you to add ground covers such as grass, mulch, or rock. So let's open it up. We have the Down Arrow, Move Canvas, Draw Area, and the Done button. Let's start by using the Down Arrow to hide the ground cover images to give us more screen space. The Move Canvas button allows to size and move the canvas to where you're adding the cover. Select the Draw tool to begin outlining the new ground cover area. Using your finger or a stylus if you have one, begin drawing out the area. The built-in magnifying glass located at the top can be very useful throughout the process. Please note, to draw a straight line, simply tap on two different points of the screen. Open the list back up to select and insert a ground cover. Swipe left or right to move through the different categories. While the cover tool is still open, you can size the ground cover within the area drawn out by either using the sizing handles or the pinching gesture. Press the Done button to add it to your design. A good little tip to achieve the perfect perspective is to use the sizing handles to squeeze or stretch the image. Okay, let's add some items to the design. Press the Add Item button. On the first screen, you will see iScape's main categories, a search bar, and your favorites. Select the category to open it up. Tap the image to preview. In the image preview screen, you can view the description and add it to your favorites. Press the heart button to add it to your favorites for easy access. You can use the search feature to search for zones, colors, image names, and more. Please note, you can double tap the image to insert it directly into the design. Now, let's add the palm tree we previously added to our favorites. After inserting an image into your design, it's automatically selected. To deselect, tap the image. To reselect, tap the image again. A quick tip. While an image is selected, you can place and size the image using the pinching gesture from anywhere on the screen. When the image is selected, you have the following tools available on the left side of the screen. The trash can, which will delete the item, the Cutout tool, which will remove or clone areas of the image. The Duplicate tool, which will copy and paste the image. The Flip tool. And the Arrange Layers, which will move the image order from front to back. Another quick tip. The Cutout tool can be useful to cover up existing landscapes on your picture. The top toolbar consists of the Hamburger menu, where you can find your saved work, manage subscriptions, and request custom designs from certified designers. Pro users have the option to upload their own images to the database as well as generate proposals and add a company profile page to showcase their work. The question mark button overlays tips and instructional videos. The change background button allows you to replace the background image at any time. The undo and redo buttons allow you to navigate through your design's history. The layer list allows you to view and manage all of the layers in your design. Within the layer list, you can view the image's description as well as delete and rearrange the order of the layers. The Save and Share button allows you to save your work and share it via text, email, or post it to a social media site. Pro users can generate a proposal from their design. We hope you all enjoy using iScape. Thanks for taking the time to watch.